Every parent needs a helping hand. Barney helps give children the range of skills they need to grow. Sharing in good manners. Caring in emotional development. Imagining in creativity. Dancing in movement. And learning educational concepts through music and play. Barney, a helping hand for growing children. on the list. Two yellow things. One, two. Three things that are square. One, two, three. We found four fruits. One, two, three, four. And five round things. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five round things. <laughs> Looks like we found everything. Wait, not quite. The list says we have to find something big and purple. Whoa! <laughs> Am I big enough? Oh, hey. <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> what are you playing? We've been on a treasure hunt. It's oh. really fun, Barney. You have to find different numbers of things that someone puts on a list. Mm -hmm. Like two yellow things, three square things, four fruits, and five things that are round. Oh, sounds like you have to do lots of counting on a treasure hunt oh, like yeah, that. Lots. And it certainly is a great day for counting. So let's go. One, two, three. Three little daffodils waving at me. They're so pretty, me oh my. But 
everybody's running. Where did they go? Do they know something I don't know? Drip, drop, drip, well, what do I see? Ten little raindrops falling on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little raindrops falling on me. It's a great day for counting. A super day to be with friends. It's a great day for counting. And now let's count to ten once again. One, two. Air blankie! Air blankie blankie! Go high, go high, honey! Hi, Baby Bob. We've been looking for you. Oh, well, I've been looking for my blankie. Has anyone seen it? It's in the treehouse, Baby Bob. <laughs> oh, goody. It's not lost. <laughs> we found it while we were looking for the things on our treasure hunt list. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, who wrote the list for the treasure hunt, anyway? We don't know. Curtis found it on the table. Oh, uh, may I see it, please? Sure, here it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hmm, maybe this riddle will tell us who wrote the list. Let's see what it says. Uh, find the items on this list, making sure that nothing's missed. <laughs> then, at the stroke of 11, round up a group numbering seven. <laughs> and meet me over by the clock that has a bird and goes tick-tock. <laughs> You're in for such a special surprise that you will barely believe your eyes. A surprise? Oh. I love surprises. Oh, and Barney, yes. we have a group of seven like the riddle says. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, five. six, and me, seven. <laughs> oh, that's right, Baby Bob. All right, let's see. Lots of clocks go tick-tock, mm -hmm. but what kind has a bird on it? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 clock. Clock. That's it's coming from the treehouse. Let's go. Oh, 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 Seven of us, and we're at the right place, the clock with the bird. At the right time, 11. So where's the person who wrote the riddle? Oh, it's Noah! Good job, meinen Damen und Herren. That's German for good day, ladies and gentlemen. I love your dress. Why, thank you, Kim. It's called a dirndl. And sometimes ladies in Germany wear dirndls on special occasions. I was just telling stories to children at a sausage festival in Frankfurt, Germany. Wow. <laughs> well, it's always good to see you, Stella. So it was you who wrote the riddle. But why did you want us here exactly at 11 o'clock? Well, I wanted you all here to tell you about a surprise I planned. <laughs> At 12 o'clock, some friends will come whom I want you to meet. And I've brought a special clock to tell us when it's time for them to come. <laughs> This alarm clock keeps me on time in my travels when I tell stories to children all over the world. And when the big hand and the little hand both point to the number 12, uh -oh. we'll... What's wrong? Oh, no. Most of the numbers are missing. Only the four and the five are left. And this is a special clock. The alarm won't ring unless all of the numbers are there. Where could the others be? Well, maybe they fell off in your suitcase, Stella. Oh, yeah, 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 good yeah, idea. Yeah, good yeah, idea, yeah. Barney. I'll just look right down here on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> 
I only found one more number. Oh. That's an eight. Mm -hmm. I know my numbers. <laughs> Very good, Baby Bob. I just wish you knew where the rest of the numbers were. Oh, I just know what they look like. I don't know where they are. Oh, well, where did you see them last, Stella? <laughs> Let me think. I remember seeing all of the numbers on Monday in Maui. Uh -huh. Or maybe it was Tuesday in Tahiti. Or maybe it was Friday in France. Uh -huh. <laughs> then there was that little trip to the library to find new stories to tell children. Oh, I can't remember where I lost them. I'll just have to go back over my travels and see if I can find them. Okay, bye bye. Okay, see you soon. So I hope you can find them. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> I wish there was some way we could help Stella, but we wouldn't know where in the world to start looking. She travels everywhere. Hmm. Oh, maybe there is a way we can help. Hi. Well, Stella said she went to the library to look for some new stories to tell. Maybe she lost some of the numbers there. Great <laughs> idea. Let's go. Wait, what if Stella comes back? She won't know where we are. Oh, well, I'll stay and play, and you go on your way. <laughs> I paid a ride. <laughs> I'll stay and play, and you go on your way. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice of you, Baby Bob. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we can. Okay. I'll stay and play, and you go on your way. I'll stay and play, and you go on your way. <laughs> I love the library, Barney. <laughs> Me too. Books are great. <laughs> Books can take us so many places. <laughs> You can have an adventure in a faraway land. You can learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea when you learn to borrow books from the library. <laughs> but please don't be loud so that everyone here can read. You will be proud when you take a book home from the library. You can have you can learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea when you learn to borrow books from the library. But please don't be loud so that everyone here can read. That's right. You will be proud when you take a book home from the library. You can have an adventure in a faraway land. Learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea. When you learn to borrow books from the library. When you learn to borrow books from the library. Wow, there sure are a lot of books. Shh. Oh, sorry. Where should we start looking for Stella's numbers? There are so many books. I guess we'll just have to look through them all. Psst. Hey, over here. Shh. <laughs> it wasn't Over me. Over <laughs> here, I say. I can show you where to look. Who's being so noisy? Me. I'm Booker T. Bookworm. I live here at the library. And I know everything about every book. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Mr. Bookworm. I'm Barney, and these are my friends, Kim. Hi. Robert. Hello. Ashley. Nice to meet you. Curtis. Hi. And Kristen. Hello. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Call me Booker T, everyone. Okay, Hi, Booker T. Hi, Booker T. Well, Booker T, Stella the Storyteller told us she visited the library this week looking for new stories. She certainly did, and I helped to find a bunch. <laughs> Well, well, she might have lost some numbers to her very special alarm clock while she was here. I'll help you look. I can show you every book she read on her visit. Hey, oh, really? Really? That would be great. Where'd he go? Hey, everyone. Down here. Oh. <laughs> 
This is the first book Stella looked at. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> that is the story of the goose that laid the golden eggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Will you read it to us, please? Well, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Once upon a time, a farmer and his wife lived on their very small farm. They didn't have much to eat, but what they had, they often shared with neighbors. My wife and I only have a few fruits and vegetables. We can have some of them. Thank you. We'll bring you some milk from our cow tomorrow. That day, a goose wandered into the barnyard. <laughs> the farmer and his wife were very happy. We're so lucky this goose came to live with us. We can eat her eggs for breakfast every morning. Maybe we'll have enough to share with our neighbors. The goose was happy to live with the farmer and his wife. And the farmer and his wife liked the goose. <laughs> They even like the way she walked. She does have a funny waddle, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. A gaggle of giggling, wiggling geese came galloping through the grass on their way to the farmer's house to teach a ballet class. And there before their very eyes stood every animal. Cows, pigs, sheep, chicks, and even Mr. including the goose, who nestled into her nice new nest. <laughs> the next morning, the farmer and his wife woke, <laughs> excited to see if the goose had laid any eggs. Oh, oh, they were quite surprised at what they found. Oh my goodness, said the farmer. Our goose has laid seven golden eggs. Oh, sure enough. The goose had laid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glistening golden eggs. We're rich! We're rich! These golden eggs will give us more money than we'll ever need. Yes, but we'll grow even richer because the goose will lay seven more golden eggs each day. We're rich! We're rich! We're rich! Hi, neighbors. We brought some milk from our cow to share with you. Did the goose lay any eggs? Yes, she laid seven golden eggs. Yes, but we can't share any with you. I mean, after all, they're gold. Well, so the neighbors left very disappointed. The farmer and his wife ran to town, <laughs> excited to tell everybody how rich they were. But the goose was disappointed that they wanted to keep all the eggs for themselves. So the goose left to find someone else who would be happy to share her golden eggs with others. When the farmer and his wife returned from town, they were in for a surprise. The goose! She's gone! And she took all her golden eggs with 
her. Now we don't have any. I think we should have given some of the eggs to our neighbors. Yes, you're right. We were too selfish. So the farmer and his wife learned an important lesson. Sharing with others is the right thing to do. The end. <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, Just yes. think, a goose had laid seven golden eggs. Oh, oh, speaking of seven, look what I found when I turned to the last page of the book. It's one of Stella's missing numbers. The seven. I wonder how many numbers Stella's found by now. Oh, yeah. 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 Pretty numbers. I make numbers. Pretty numbers. Number one. <laughs> I have one ribbon in my hair. I have one mouth to go la 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 la. <laughs> I have one nose, a very big nose. <laughs> and I have one yellow blankie. <laughs> My blankie. It's very, very yellow. I like it even better than a bowl of jello. When I hold it close, it feels just right. I like my yellow blankie in the day and night. <laughs> I'm gonna do my blankie dance. <laughs> was looking through last week. Oh, great. <laughs> what did he what? say? What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barney. You're welcome. I guess I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. <laughs> I was saying it's a good story called Belling the Cat. Oh, well, then let's read it. <laughs> Okay. Once upon a time, in the wall of a farmer's cottage, there lived four playful mice named Chancy, Dancy, Fancy, and Clancy. They loved to play all day. Of course, Dancy loved to dance. While Chancy, Fancy, and Clancy like to play tag. You're it, Clancy. I'm going to tag you, Fancy. You have to catch me first. How those mice love to play. Keep your dog scissors. One day, the mice were surprised to see that the farmer had bought a cat to live in his cottage. Oh, dear, Chancy, look outside. The farmer's bought a cat. I hope he can't see us. Some cats like to chase mice. I'm afraid he might catch us. If we put a bell on the cat's collar, we can hear him coming and hide before he gets to the clothes. Great idea, Fancy. I'm the bravest mouse of us all. If anyone can build a cat, I can. 
can. Well, do be careful, Clancy. Never fear, Chancy. So, Clancy tiptoed up to the cat as he napped in the afternoon sun. But when he got close enough to the cat, he became frightened and ran back to the others. <laughs> What's wrong, Clancy? Did you get scared? No. I just didn't think it was the right time. Oh, I'll do it. Ha! You're too small, Fancy. You're not big and strong like me. If I can't fell the cat, no mouse can. I'm braver than you think, Clancy. In fact, I'll bail the cat while he's awake. I'll walk up to him and say, Here, kitty, kitty, cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, cat. There are cats in the jungle and cats in the city. Some are really big and some are itty bitty. They roar and meow and they look so pretty. Here, kitty, kitty, cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, cat. Here, kitty, kitty. That cat loves to stretch and sleep. That cat loves to pounce and leap. That cat loves to play and run. Cats are cute and so much fun. Here, kitty, kitty, cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, cat. There are cats in the jungle and cats in the city. Some are really big and some are itty bitty. They roar and they owl and they look so pretty. <laughs> sure enough, Fancy took the bell and went out to find the cat. Come and watch. <laughs> Fancy was brave enough to walk right up to that cat. Hello, I'm Fancy the Mouse. Ah, and I'm Beauregard. Pleased to meet you. You know, Beauregard, I and my friends, Dancy, Clancy, and Chancy, think your beautiful collar will look nicer with something shiny hanging down from it. This bell would look terrific on a pretty collar like yours. Well, yes, it would. Hey, I'll put it on right now. So, the cat happily put the bell on his collar. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend, Fancy. It'll be fun to play with nice mice like you, and Chancy, and Dancy, and Clancy. Fancy belled the cat. But instead of a warning, the bell's jingle let the playful mice know when their new friend, Beauregard the cat, was nearby and ready to play. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after in the little cottage. The end. <laughs> that one little bell helped the mice make a new friend. Bell. Hmm. Wait a minute. Stella was ringing a little bell as she read this story the other day. And I think I know where it is. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> I have found it! Oh, well, Stella's bell. Oh, in! Oh, in! Blah! The number one! The number one! Oh. It's from Stella's alarm clock. Now we found the number one and the number seven. But we have so many more books to look through. That's all right, Robert. Books are fun. I like the radio. I love to watch TV. But every day I make some time for something good to read. <laughs> oh boy. Books are fun. Books are great. Let's sit down with a book today. Books are fun. Books are great. Is it book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait to read a book. Why I get so happy every time I take a look Books can take me anywhere that I want to go Books can help my imagination grow <laughs> Books are fun, books are great Fill my mind with a book today Books are fun, books are great Is it book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait to read a book Books are fun to read. I love the pictures too. Oh, 
love to snuggle up and read with somebody like you. All my favorite stories and many more to learn. Good things come with every page I turn. <laughs> Books are fun. Books are great. Let's sit down with a book today. Books are fun. Books are great. Is it book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait to read a book. Book, book, book. To read a book. <laughs> Booker T, what other books did Stella look through? Well, uh, let me think. Oh, I remember one other. Uh, go down this aisle, Kim. You'll find a big green book called The Turnip. Ooh. Ah, here it is. The Turnip. Barney, this book has a funny-shaped bookmark sticking out the top. Ooh, ooh let me see it. It's oh. the six from Stella's alarm clock. <laughs> I wonder what the number six has to do with the story of the turnip. Hey, why don't I read it and we'll find out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <clears throat> hmm. Once upon a time, a farmer planted a teeny tiny turnip seed in his vegetable garden. <laughs> then he gave the little seed a drink of cool water. I'll give this seed some tender care. Soon a turnip will grow there. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yum. <laughs> the next morning, the farmer returned to his garden to find quite a surprise. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. What a sight. From seed to turnip overnight. Oh, I'll pull it up and it will be a tasty snack for my family. But the turnip was too heavy for the farmer to pull from the crown by himself. I can pick an apple, a peach, or a fig, but this turnip is way too big. Come, wife, please gather round. We'll pull this turnip from the ground. So, the farmer and his wife pulled and pulled. But the turnip wouldn't come out of the ground. They called to their son for help. Come, son, please, please gather, gather round. We'll, we'll pull, pull this turnip, turnip from, from the, the ground. ground. So the farmer and his wife and their son pulled and pulled and pulled. But the turnip didn't budge. They called the dog for help. Come, doggy, please, please gather, gather round. We'll, we'll pull this turnip, turnip from, from the ground. ground. Then the farmer and his wife and their son and their dog pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. But the turtle still didn't come out of the ground. So they called the cat for help. Come, Kitty, please get around. around. We'll, we'll pull this turnip from, from the ground. ground. Once again, the farmer and his wife and their son and their dog and their cat pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. But did the turnip pop out of the ground? No! Just then, a little mouse scurried through the farmyard. This turnip is as big as a house. Let's get some help from that tiny mouse. So, they called to the mouse. Come, Come mouse. little mouse. Please, Please get around. around. We'll, we'll pull this turnip, turnip from, from the ground. ground. But the mouse didn't think she could make a difference. I'm a mouse. I'm much too small to pull turnip greens so tall. But she helped anyway. Oh, thank goodness. Once again, the farmer and his wife and their son, and their, son, and their, dog, and their dog, and, and their, their cat, the cat uh, and the teeny and tiny the mouse pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. With a pop, the turnip came out of the ground and they all cheered. Yay! Sure enough, the mouse made a difference. <laughs> Thank you all for gathering round to pull this turnip from the ground. 
Whenever I have a job to do, I'll know that I can count on you. You can count on me. <laughs> I'll always be around. I will cheer you up. <laughs> when you're feeling down. I like you. You like me. We, we have fun, fun together. <laughs> when it's sunny. When it rains. That's right. We make a happy team. Yeah. Together to the end. You're my buddy. I'm your pal. <laughs> side by side, we're playing. <laughs> if you ever need my help, on your side, I'm. On your side, I'm. On your side, I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I will. I will cheer you up when you're feeling down. Oh, you can count on me. You can count on me because I am your friend. Because I am your friend. We make a happy team. We make a happy team together to the end. Together to the end. You, you can, can count, count on me. me. <laughs> oh, 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 that's right. <laughs> All finished. Number two. I made a number two. <laughs> I have two eyes and two hands, and I have two feet for hopping, hopping. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. Whoa, what's this? Oh, look, I won't have to make a number three. Here's a pretty number three. <laughs> Where did this come from? I don't know. Hop, 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 hopping back to make my numbers. Oh, I have three numbers. One, two, three. <laughs> I have three numbers. I have three wheels on my tricycle. I have three crayons. And I'm three years old. <laughs> Look at me, me, me. I'm three, three, three. I'm as happy as can be, be, be. Can you tell? Can you see? I'm a very, very, very happy me. I am learning colors. Yes, I am. Like red and green and purple. And I love to draw on paper. I can even draw a Can be, be, be. Can you tell? Can you see? I'm a very, very, very happy me. <laughs> I'm a very, very, very happy me, me, me. <laughs> Yoo hoo! Anyone here? I found the number 11 in Illinois and 12 in Tucson. Barney? Kids? Baby Bob? Oh, hi, Stella. <laughs> Barney told me to tell you that they went to the library to help look for your alarm clock numbers. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, Baby Bob. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so far, we found the numbers 1, 6, and 7 for Stella's alarm clock. But a clock goes from 1 to 12. We're still missing some numbers. Numbers 4 and 5 never fell off. And 8 was in Stella's suitcase, remember? <laughs> Maybe Stella's found some, too. Uh, Booker T, can you remember any other books Stella looked at last week? Well, hmm. I believe there is one more book you haven't looked at yet. Let me see. Where was that? Oh, look! Maybe it's here. Nope. Is it here? 
Nope. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Nope. Uh -uh. Oh, here it is. It's a book with rhymes about the farm. Oh, these are some of my favorite farm rhymes. <laughs> oh, well, let's see here. <laughs> Oh, little bow peep. <laughs> little bow peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. <laughs> Little boy blue, come blow your horn The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep <laughs> It's like you need a nap <laughs> I had a little hen, the prettiest scene She washed the dishes and kept the house clean She went to the mill to fetch me flour She brought it home in less than an hour she baked me bread, brought me mail. She sat by the fire and told a fine tale. I had a little hen, the prettiest scene. She washed the dishes and kept the house clean. <laughs> pickety, pickety, my fine hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen doth lay. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Pickety, pickety, my fine hen. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Pickety, pickety, my fine hen. <laughs> sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Pickety, pickety, my fine hen. <laughs> That's a catchy little rhyme. Oh, it and it talks about the numbers nine and ten. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're in the book, Barney? Oh, well, I didn't see them, but... Uh, oh, oh. Something fell out. What so is it? Here's the number nine. And the number ten. Oh, Stella. Stella. Hiya, Stella. Hi, Booker T. Hi, everybody. Baby Bob said you'd be here. Did you find any numbers? Oh, a few. How about you? A bunch. <laughs> Booker T said we've looked at all the books that you read the day you visited here, uh -huh. so we probably found everything you lost here at the library. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Let's go back to the treehouse and put all of our numbers on the alarm clock. Oh, great idea. Great idea. Great idea. <laughs> Thanks for all your help today, Booker T. My pleasure. <laughs> After all, Barney, books are my business. <laughs> Come back and see me soon. <laughs> We've put all the numbers we found back on the alarm clock, mm -hmm. but we're still missing the number three. Did I hear you say we're still missing the number three? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Even though my clock is working, the alarm won't ring without all of the numbers. And the alarm has to go off for the surprise to happen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> Look at my numbers. See, I made a one uh -huh. and a two, and I found this pretty three. Baby Bob, you found the last missing number. <laughs> I did? Now we can get the alarm clock to work. Oh, goody, goody. <laughs> there, all of the numbers are back where they belong. <laughs> Introducing my dozen cousins. <laughs> Bella, Chella, Della, Ella, Lella, Nella, Mella, Pella, Vella, Acapella, she likes to sing. Umbrella, she was born on a rainy day. And cousin Fella, he's the only boy. Oh, <laughs> Since I have so many cousins, oh, yeah. we have our own baseball team. Oh, and we have to play a game soon. So I 
thought maybe you'd take a teen picture for us, Barney? Oh, my, that would be super dee duper. <laughs> Just push this button when I get into the shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll see you over at the baseball field. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thanks for taking the picture, Barney. And I'll send you one as soon as they're developed. Well, I gotta get over to the baseball game. It'll be starting any minute. Oh, bye -bye. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. Now I gotta go play ball. Stella <laughs> has a dozen cousins. That's a lot. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm gonna go tell BJ. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah. Bye, baby doll. Bye. 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 Oh, it's nice to have a big family like Stella's. Yeah, with lots of cousins. And aunts. And uncles. And grandparents. <laughs> My mommy has a mother, too. But I just call her Graham. I love to go and visit her as often as I can. Family is fun, <laughs> and sometimes friends can be like family when you all have fun together. We had a really good time today, Barney. Oh, any time spent with friends like you is always special. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me, too? Oh, I think of all of you as my family. I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me, too? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so long, everybody. So long. Have a good time. See you later. Mm -hmm. Stella's not over. She's my favorite.